is up beautiful people it's Saladin here welcome back to my channel today we're gonna play some ranked duel 1v1 as in honor versus Kurnanus in a new joust map season 7 feels like a really fun map to play on and duel is entertaining again for me so we're starting at speed uh, we're trying to go for the blue buff, but considering that Honor Clear, in my opinion, is not fast enough, we're probably gonna go for the lane and then turn for the blue buff. So, speed buff gives attack speed, pretty important. Usually, you tend to pick up those more than even the red buff, actually. And personally, I prefer speed. <laughs> As a maining jungler in Conquest, I prefer speed over red. Yeah, looks like our clear is not fast enough. Let's go for the lane. He's doing the same thing, so it's pretty much okay. Got poked up a little bit, it's fine. Gonna try to be aggressive here, let's see. Okay, that wasn't good. I should keep in mind that it's not Conquest, and we take a shit ton of damage from our archers and shit. We do extra damage inside the pillar, that's his wasted clear, fine. Let's grab that. And go for a blue buff here. I don't think he's coming. Just drop this real quick. Gonna pop a pot here. Alright, let's see how many minions have we missed. Uh, we missed just two, it's fine. Alright, he's poked out. Ah, uh, that's a good stun. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough XP for the ults. I might have killed them there. Let's see. Well, we clearly were pretty fast. <laughs> it didn't land a single spear in him, which is kind of sucky. Sucky is the word that I would use. Red buff's coming up in 15. We should keep an eye on that. Gonna push out this wave and go straight for the red buff. Looks like he backed, so that gives us an upper hand. He has to go either for a wave or for the red buff. Which means that we prob most probably gonna take it. There it is. He's ulting for it. He's body blocking and, and he just used his dash. I mean, let's just smack the guy. He's very much dead here. First blood. <laughs> I don't know. He was so focused on securing the red buff that he forgot that he needs to survive to have a benefit of it. Got the first blood worth 600 gold a hit, which is nice. Gonna push this out and yeah, it looks like we have a full transcendence. I'll just back here. Grab full trans, couple pots, jump out of base, feels good. We are way ahead, he now has to diverge from the build that he's having, otherwise he's gonna have a lot of trouble. He's just trying to go the route that a gill goes, he will always stay behind me, and most probably have no chance of winning the fight. There's nothing on the left jungle. Probably his blue buff is up, actually. I think he went there before I did, so it should be up. Let's grab the smalls and then go for the blue buff. Maybe after the next wave, the blue buff, actually. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just go, go for the blue buff. For the blue buff. Definitely for the blue buff. <laughs> It's so it's so much stuff on this map like usually even if you're behind there's always something else that you can grab if your enemy goes right you go left and It just goes on like that you can kind of avoid a lot of fighting Let's see can we jump him? I it feels a bit too risky. I guess I'll just not oh Damn I wish that it hit Old. She should be dead here, yeah. Like, dashing into me was not the play. He should have dashed out. Maybe in the left jungle. It's easier to juke out there. Or just into red. Just run as fast as you can. 
maybe you wait for another dash and something will happen but like this what do you expect to happen after that like he just dashes straight into my ultimate now i have full boots uh, i always go for ninja tabby or non steroid guides it's extremely important just way 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 too much attack speed i'm gonna drop this real quick i don't think he can even come up to even pretend to steal it i cannot pick it up maybe i'll pick it up a bit later need to grab those minions real quick grab that rep buff Let's push out this wave, maybe put some pressure on the tower, there's really nothing on the map. Mm, well, we did some damage, holy shit, we actually do a lot of damage. We just two autos, we almost out traded him there. Uh, I really, I was hoping that the stun would land. If it did... That would have been a kill, but it's fine. It's fine. Unfortunately, we don't have life steal here, and we out of pots. So this tower is gonna hold for a little bit longer. Really wanted to block this with a pillar, but my timing was off. It's fine. Let's just back here. Third item going straight into defense. He is copying my build, which means he's over an item behind, and it's totally not the play. Cannot pick up my speed buff because of the red, but red's fine. Just gonna keep it. Don't need any more stacks. Our Hunter's Blessing is also stacked, which is nice. Okay, where the hell is he? Oh, he's kinda here. That's an ult. I guess I panic bracer. Feels like he wasted a dash somewhere, but I don't know where and why. This will drop a tower. We have to pick up a relic. Not forget to pick up a relic when we back. Those goddamn notifications gonna be next patch, but right now, just don't forget to pick up the goddamn relic. We do a lot of damage. The minis on the blue buff, which are quite tanky, dropping into hits. That's a statement. Goes for red. I'm too low, so I'm just gonna grab this wave and allow him to take the red. It's fine. Not gonna risk it. I'm way too ahead to lose th that advantage over red. Would not be worth it. Feels like I might have gone breastplate, but hiding me in against the hunter is just way too strong. Also, thorns kind of mandatory against other hunters. Pretty much straightforward. I'm gonna push this out and start looking for Bull Demon King. I find that this map is rather hard to just push straight for the Phoenix. Bull Demon feels like a really way to go. That was a good dash. That was a good dash this time. Hmm, considering my HP, I don't feel like I can go for Bull Demon. Nah, yeah, I got it back here. It's too risky, don't want to risk it. Also, not having any wards. I feel like this map is really easy to ward up properly. You just put up a ward on the Bull Demon to control the steel, and you put up one on their jungle to control where they are. I mean, the last map had just one choke for the Bull Demon. The worst you could have done is just go through the enemy side past the ward. But here you ward up over here and the hunter pretty much the covers the whole situation. Maybe because the people didn't use to it yet, but yeah, I can totally see where he is. He's wasted his soul for some reason, I don't even know. Uh, it doesn't hit the bull demon. And it was nowhere close to me. Maybe he was More fury for my spear. trying to spook me. <laughs> I don't know. He still keeps on going into my build, and but he is way, way, way behind, so he has no chance to fight me whatsoever. 
yeah as soon as you get behind starting transcendence you should diverge in something else maybe like direct physical defense worked out a couple times for me so but if you just copy me while almost 2k behind it's never gonna work for you i was hoping to catch his dash i don't even really remember if the Curtainous dash is knockup immune, but I just wanted to check. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. His speed is down. This is also down. That's unfortunate. That means we're just straight up pushing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him here. Yeah, I dealt a lot of damage, but without lifesteal, it's gonna be really hard to push into Titan's room. Like, Kronos has a decent clear. Yeah, we gotta back off. Without lifesteal, there's not a whole lot I can do. That's his thorns. Looks like he dashed back to the base. I was hoping that he dashed for speed, maybe it was coming up. We now have penetration and he's just starting to build into defense, so... Next item is gonna be Asi and this will allow us to siege more properly. Right now we kinda lack in sustain department, so that allows him to actually defense quite successfully. Shit. I was really hoping that that would land. It felt it felt good. It felt like it landed, but nah, just a little bit off. That would have been game. I'm gonna grab this red buff real quick. Maybe look for another bull demon just to secure it. I don't like how Phoenix can come up and if I make a dumb play, I can lose the game. So we'll just drop this, secure the Bull Demon. We need to push out the next wave first. He's con committing into speed buff. That means that he will have to spend some time with the wave and we can take Bull Demon freely. Oh, the buff is green. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna push out this wave. And judging by the looks of it, the best course would be to actually suicide. We have both relics. Let's push him out. Push this wave in hard. Try to have as much XP as we can. We're dropping this Phoenix, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk in there. Do as much damage as we can to the Titan, and basically suicide. While we're at it, pop thorns and everything. Oh, if I killed him here, that would have been game, actually. But it's fine. We did two thirds to the Titan. Next time we do that, it's gonna be game. He have to absolutely fight me right now. Come out of the goddamn base, face me like a man. Otherwise, his game is lost. I think I should drop this wave and go back for Aussie, but the problem with this map is that it constantly, there is something to do on the map. I need to drop this red and now I just have to go into the Titan room. Let's see. Will he fight me or will he let me into the... No, nope, looks like he's fighting. Looks like I'm choking. I'm choking really hard. Let's not die here. Yeah, we'll just back off. It's fine. It's fine. I choked. He made a good play. He actually understands that he has to get out of base, which is fine. But right now we have a pod. We finally have lifesteal. This next boxing match is going to be very uneven. It looks like he goes in the Toxic Blade, which is a good response to considering he catch up with and build with me. And he's going into a cheaper item that will directly 
counteract my item and he has some lifesteal built in so good play man Juking his auto attacks, he attacks a lot, but not as strong as I do. And now that he has no clear, we can just do that, and that'll be game. Yep, a surrender vote goes through. And that'll be on our duel, guys, season 7. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. There's really nothing to summarize on the end screen and duel. Our builds are pretty straightforward. Uh, I built into Aussie. He counters me with a toxic blade that he actually was able to finish, but it was a bit too late for him. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave me a comment to let me know if you want more content like that. And as always, have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.